Black Mirror season is well and truly underway with the release of Bandersnatch. Many people have said that they love the interactive episode, and many people have also stated how they were not a fan at all. It seems as though it's been a fairly divisive episode. However, let's take a look back before Bandersnatch was even released, and look at what the most powerful endings of Black Mirror are. There is rarely a happy ending in Black Mirror, but what takes the top spot of being the most powerful? And also, what are the closest competitors to it? Let's find out. Before I go ahead, make sure you go over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what you think the most powerful ending of the show is. So without further ado, I'm BrainPilot, and here are the five most powerful endings of Black Mirror. Number five, Metalhead. Metalhead is an episode that split opinions when it was released in season four. Stylistically, it's completely different to all of the other Black Mirror episodes due to the way that it's shot, and the fact that most of it is completely silent with not that much dialogue. However, the ending is the reason that it's on this list. You're following the character Bella as she's on the hunt for a bear. However, on her trip, she encounters a black metal dog-like robot. In the barren wasteland that seems to be planet Earth, you see the uphill struggle that it seems to be to try and flee this robot. However, in the end, it becomes too much and after destroying the robot, she becomes implanted with multiple tracking devices from the dog shrapnel and she ultimately ends up slitting her own throat. She deemed taking her own life easier than living in a world where she is constantly in a fight for survival against these black metal dog-like robots. That for sure is a powerful ending. A world where humanity has been overthrown by what looks like one of mankind's creations. Number four, the entire history of you. As one of what I believe the best episodes of Black Mirror, I feel the ending is definitely one of the most powerful. In a world where most people have had a device put inside their head, it allows them to relive all of their memories that they have due to the fact that their everyday life is recorded. The poor relationship that Liam has with Fifi in the episode is highlighted through the way that they act and also the positioning of the characters in many of the shots. However, the technology is ultimately what causes the downfall of their relationship. This is due to Liam seeing in Fifi's grain video footage of her cheating on him. Once found out, you see Liam all alone in the flat and you see him reliving happier times with his girlfriend. The contrasting color of the shots is something that is instantly memorable and also the fact that you see him rip the grain out of his head and realize that the implementation of this piece of technology was ruining him and making him extremely paranoid. Him removing the grain and being so sad is something that's almost refreshing, yet extremely gutting to see as he has to move on, but he's all alone. He's alone without all of his memories. His previous life with Fifi is now in the past and is untouchable. The last thing that we see is an extremely quick flash of all of the memories on his grain before he rips it out. And then it cuts to black. It's an ending that leaves you in complete silence and also completely aware of the silence that you're sat in. You feel gutted for the character and it makes you realize how technology can ruin lives. That's Black Mirror at its finest. Technology ruining a life. Number three, White Bear. White Bear starts off as a confusing episode where you're following the life of a woman who is woken up and it seems as though she's being followed, filmed and hunted down. As a viewer, you're in a state of confusion and second guessing everything until the reveal happens. Victoria Skillane, a woman who assisted in the murder of a young girl. Instead of going to prison, what happened? She has to relive the same torturous day over and over again. She has to have her memory wiped so she has to relive the same pain over and over again. But not only that, it's an amusement park where people pay to be able to witness this type of torture. It's a punishment that's quite difficult to get your head around and it makes you think how twisted your mind would have to be to be able to come up with a concept like that but also very smart. Just like the last ending, it leaves you in silence. And although she's done wrong, you can't help but question the moral decisions of the fact she's there and that people are actually paying to see it. Surely that makes them just as bad. Number two, Shut Up and Dance. Where do I even start with this one? Shut Up and Dance was close to taking the top spot, but was beaten by just one. Following the life of Kenny and the troublesome adventures that he goes on whilst being tormented by hackers is an episode that I don't think many people do forget. Throughout most of the episode, as a viewer, 
you almost feel sorry for Kenny being manipulated through people online. He's made to deliver a cake, rob a bank, and go on an endless list of tasks before being made to fight until the death. One thought throughout that episode is, why go through with it all? Why risk going to prison if all somebody had was a video of Kenny masturbating to online porn? However, this is then when it hits you right in the face. After committing all of the crimes, due to the hackers telling him to, and after brutally murdering the person he had to fight, you then see Blue Sirens approach a bloody Kenny. And whilst answering the phone, you then find out that all this time, Kenny was in fact a paedophile, and was masturbating to images of underage children. This is an ending that is definitely one of Black Mirror's darkest, and most memorable. The fact that for a lot of the episode, you feel for the character, but in the space of a few seconds, you're left feeling shocked and surprised, thinking back to the shots at the start, when Kenny is with the little girl in his workplace. Black Mirror pulled the number on many people with this ending. Number 1. White Christmas What I believe the most powerful ending of Black Mirror is, is White Christmas. Why? Well, throughout the whole of the episode, you're following John Hamm's character Matt and Rafe Spall's character Potter inside of the cookie. Matt has been trying to get Potter to make a confession, and throughout the whole of the episode, you don't suspect this at all. You're just thinking that it's two people in a confused environment, talking about things that they have done wrong in the past. You don't even know that they're inside the cookie that we're introduced to earlier on in the episode. However, after going on a turbulent journey whilst learning about the life of Matt and Potter, and also learning about the power of the cookie, Potter makes a confession. And at that moment, the whole atmosphere and mood of the episode changes. We're shown on screen Matt leave the cookie, and find him in a police station where it turns out that the real-life version of Potter in solitary confinement, and it was in fact a cookieified version of him that Matt was speaking to. Of course, however, this was all so Matt could bargain his way out of his sentence for the crimes that he committed. This is then where I believe the most powerful parts occur. Matt doesn't get off scot-free, and forever has to be seen as a red-muffled blur, highlighting that he has a criminal record for being convicted as a sex offender. And also, all he sees are grey, muffled blurs. He will never see a person look like their normal form again. And as well, also, the punishment that Potter gets in the cookie is having to listen to I wish it could be Christmas every day, increasingly getting louder, whilst living at 1,000 years worth of time in one minute in the real world. I feel there are many, many powerful endings in Black Mirror, but I believe that this one is the most powerful of them all. The emotion that the episode evokes from the viewer at the end once realising how horrible both of their lives would be to live afterwards, and also the type of punishment that is inflicted on both of these two criminals, and having to live out the rest of their daily life like that, this is what I believe is one of the darkest of them all. So there you have it, what I believe are the five most powerful endings of Black Mirror. If you'd like to support the channel in a different way, then I've recently set up a Patreon, and by going over there, you can get your hands on some exclusive content that's only available on Patreon. Take a look and see what you think. Also, I've started releasing polls on my YouTube channel, which enable you to vote on what video you want to see next. So make sure to vote to see the videos you want to see. What do you think the most powerful endings of Black Mirror are? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.